Good, Good morning, morning Northwest. Northwest. My name is Michaela Malinowski. And I'm Brody Thomas. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd. And we're back for another episode of Cougar, Cougar Roundup. Roundup. Have you ever donated blood before? I haven't, but I should. Well, Northwest ran a blood drive last weekend. Joey A and I were there to check it out. Do you know the importance of donating blood? Well, last week our school partnered with the Community Blood Center to host a blood drive. Let's check it out. People should donate blood because every time you donate blood, it goes directly to someone who needs it, who needs their life to be saved. Blood is not something that can just you know, come from somebody else or somewhere else. It, if you have blood and you're eligible to donate the blood, then like you can save somebody's life with that. And it really does make a big impact. Well, the process of donating blood is to come in and uh, be interviewed so that you can determine that you're a, a good candidate. Once you determine that you can donate blood, uh, they turn you over to the RNs, the, the nurses, and they start the process. Just knowing that there's something small, I can take an hour out of my day, but it can really save somebody's life and make a big difference. And just knowing that it's so needed, that we're in a blood crisis right now where we don't have enough blood in the community blood bank, so. If you're interested in donating blood, make sure to check out the Community Blood Center's website for information on local blood drives. This has been Joey Anderson and Brody Thomas signing off for KUGI. You suck at that. Yeah, I know. But you know who doesn't suck? The robotics team. That's right. Robotics just won regionals, and now they're heading off to Worlds. Daniel and Nathan were there to interview the team to see what robotics is all about. Robotics is uh, an after-school club here in Northwest where we spend the entire year designing, building, and programming a robot to compete in competitions with other schools from around the country. There's a tournament in Lee Summit and that's a local regionals. Uh, the next one after that is really big. We actually qualified to go to Worlds. Some of the top robotics um, teams in the entire world will all be there. It's a huge event. First Robotics, the organization that runs this, gives us a challenge for what our robot needs to do this year. We immediately start off with brainstorming, drawing up ideas, trying to figure out what we want our robot to do. What we do is, is we try to find an area or two that we can be really good at because we're not going to be a team that can be good at everything. I know a lot of people think robotics is very challenging, very technical, you have to know something before you come, but really a lot of robotics is learning how to do it here. When I started doing robotics I had no idea what any of the things were and that's true with a lot of people and it's I think it's very important to know that like if you show up to a robotics meeting, it's your first meeting, you don't know anything, people are happy to help you figure stuff out. And so there's something for everybody to do, and the team is better when we get more people together. State, state, state! Dude, you can't say that anymore. Why not? Didn't you hear? We already won state. Oh yeah, that's right. Kaya, Joey B, and Will went to the assembly to congratulate the team on their win. Thanks guys. Our varsity basketball team just won state and we interviewed some members of the team to get a hold of the game and what they thought about the season. Like when we won state, I, it just didn't feel real, you know, it just felt like, wow, we really did this. It didn't really sink in though until like the next day when we woke up, it was like, dang, I really just won state, we really just won state. First thing I did when we won is, you know, make sure we get everybody for a picture, make sure they had that time with their family and their teammates. So that was my main concern right when we won. For me, just wanted to get better every game. Really keeping the perfect season wasn't, wasn't a lot on my mind. My mind is just on getting better every day. The biggest challenge that we faced while trying to keep a perfect season was just trying to not let all the pressure get to us. Next, we learned how they felt during the assembly and what they loved about the season as a whole. 
Well, the first thing that was going through my head is you're standing in the middle of the school all by yourself. Don't fall in front of your face or drop the microphone or, or do anything like that. But just wanted to make sure I thanked everybody that that was an important part of, of our season this year. Uh, I'm most proud of our team just coming together and playing for each other and not for ourselves. You know, being unselfish enough to find the person who's hot that game and find the right person. I'm proud. Uh, of the team, of the coaches, and uh, just really happy for the school and, and everybody involved. The future of Northwest basketball seems bright. This has been Will Larson, Kaya Givner, and Joey Bartkowski signing off for KUGR. That's all we have for this week, Northwest. Be sure to tune in next week for another episode of Cougar Roundup.